How is ceftriaxone given? Ceftriaxone is an important antibiotic used in emergency and critical care medicine. You might wonder how this medication is administered to patients. Ceftriaxone can be given in to main ways, by intramuscular injection or by intravenous injection or infusion. The choice depends on the patient's condition and the clinical situation. When it comes to intramuscular administration, ceftriaxone is mixed with a solution of 1% lidocaine. This helps reduce the pain that can come from the injection. For instance, one gram of ceftriaxone is mixed with about 3.5 milliliters of lidocaine. The injection is then given deep into a large muscle, like the gluteal muscle. It is important to note that no more than one gram should be injected at a single site. If the dose exceeds one gram, it should be split into multiple injections at different sites. Also, the lidocaine solution should never be given intravenously due to potential toxicity. On the other hand, ceftriaxone can also be administered intravenously. For this method, the ceftriaxone powder is dissolved in sterile water for injection. For example, one gram can be mixed with 10 milliliters of sterile water. The intravenous administration can be done in two ways. It can be injected slowly over about five minutes directly into a vein or through intravenous tubing. Alternatively, ceftriaxone can be given as an infusion, diluted in compatible fluids like sodium chloride or glucose, over at least 30 minutes. This infusion method is preferred for larger doses. For neonates, it is recommended to infuse the medication over 60 minutes to minimize the risk of bilirubin encephalopathy. In infants and children, doses of 50 mg per kilogram or more should be given by infusion rather than rapid injection. Generally, intravenous administration is preferred for doses greater than 2 grams daily. It is crucial to remember that ceftriaxone should not be mixed or given at the same time as calcium-containing solutions in neonates, as this can lead to serious complications. In terms of dosing frequency, ceftriaxone is often given once daily. However, if the total daily dose exceeds 2 grams, it may be administered twice daily, every 12 hours. For first responders, knowing how to administer ceftriaxone effectively is vital. In emergency situations where intravenous access is available, a slow intravenous injection or infusion is preferred for rapid treatment. If intravenous access is challenging, a deep intramuscular injection with lidocaine is a suitable alternative. Understanding the proper preparation and administration techniques is essential to minimize pain and avoid complications. Always consult with healthcare professionals for personalized medical advice, as individual patient needs can vary significantly.